Hi, I'm Shelley Kraft, and welcome to SNN Live. We're at the Sachs Associates 6th Annual European Life Sciences CEO Forum 2013 here in Zurich, Switzerland. I am with Dr. Andreas Voigt, the chief scientist and the brains behind the outfit of Therakine, a private company. Dr. Voigt, welcome to SNN Live. Hi, Shelley. Now, let's get right into it. Um, from a scientific standpoint, I want to focus in on the uh, overview of the company scientifically. Our company is a drug delivery company. We have developed a platform technology based on a hydrophilic and a hydrophobic matrix system. And we are able with that technology platform to release interesting drugs like therapeutic proteins, antibodies, uh, and uh, also low molecular weight uh, molecules with fantastic profiles, with linear profiles and for a very long time on a highly bioactive level. And it's biologics, as long as it's a biologic, correct? Correct. And what's the differentiation between a biologic and anything else? The biologics normally are, let's say, large molecular weight molecules which are generated by the biosystem so far. There is a transition if it comes to peptides, which are small prote proteins, in fact, which can also be synthesized today in a biotech labs. But normally a biologic is a molecule existing in biology and is produced by the bio, uh, biological system itself. So now the market is moving directly towards that direction. Yeah. That you are absolutely right, Shelley. The, 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 uh, I think the biologics application in, in a pharmaceutical area uh, is, is so dramatic and uh, is, is one of the fast growing uh, aspects in, in the whole pharmaceutical world. Many billion dollar business, meanwhile. The differentiation also has to be talked about is the fact that you can reduce delivery yeah. uh, and explain that a little bit. Yeah, of course. If, if it comes to a comparison between what is usually done, you inject the uh, biologics into the body or you have a, apply a drug delivery system is that you have to work with only a percentage of the drug in that drug delivery system. And the other advantage is that instead of having a bolus, a huge uh, material available from one second to the other, or from one minute to the other, is that with a drug delivery system you are always inside of the therapeutic window. Which for instance in the eye means you have only to deliver one microgram per day. What is done today is they give you 20 milligram or 10 milligram as a bolus injection into the eye. So this is the difference. Yeah? How do you program the delivery of the biologic according to when you need it how does how do you do that how can you say it's like what do you have a, a built-in alarm clock <laughs> no no it's, it's much more simple the systems start working as soon as they see water so what you are what you are doing you formulate them in the lab and then they put them in the shelf and as soon as you are using them, you put them into water and inject them. You know, and then they start action because they take up the water from the environment. And this little water, molecule by molecule, is swelling the, uh, the therapeutic proteins or the drugs. And then all these drugs eventually work together in a synergetic manner and they form cracks and channels in the matrix. And then the molecules are coming out. So that's the principle uh, so of this mechanism. There is no barrier. There's no barrier. To, to the usage? No, there's, there's absolutely no barrier. You could even construct periodic release or any other type uh, of, of release mechanism because you can form these implants, you can load the core with, with the drug and you can have a shell wh which is without drug and then can have another shell having drug again. So you see you can have a pulsatile uh, release system or whatever you want. What's your background? My background is biophysics, but working all my lifetime in collagen interface chemistry. <laughs> and mostly in Germany, correct? Uh, with the exception of one year, uh, I was in Toronto at the, at the Department of Mechanical Engineering of that university. Well, 
That's always nice to our friends back north. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to just wrap up. This is Dr. Andreas Voigt, Chief Scientist of Theracine, a private company. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We're at the Sachs Associate Sixth Annual European Life Science CEO Forum 2013 in Zurich, Switzerland. But before we sign off, give your website one more time. Okay, our website is www. Terrakine.com and Terrakine is spelled T H E R A K I N E. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Boyd, Chief Scientist of Terrakine. Thanks again for coming Thank on. You,